Hey guys, so G7 is just sending their new Performance 3 capo. Um, they'll be unveiling it next week at NAMM. And uh, it's not available till March if you want to buy one, but I want to give you guys a little sneak peek preview. Alright, so the cool thing about Performance 3 is they have this new thing called ART, which is Adaptive Radius Technology. Um, and right off the bat, you see it's got a little ART logo right there. Um, oh, look at that! They engraved my logo on it. These guys are the best. Alright, so over here the gold one is the Performance 2 capo, and here we have the Performance 3 capo. So right off the bat you can tell it's a little thicker, it's a little heavier, it's got a little more weight to it. Um, but other than that, it's, it's pretty similar in shape. So if you're used to the Performance 2 capo, Performance 3 won't be a huge shift for you, it's pretty similar. Um, so the big change in here is the Adaptive Radius technology. So under this pad, we have uh, a series of sliding cams. As the strings push up, the sides come down and creates the curvature that perfectly matches the guitar so there's not too much tension and everything's perfectly in tune. So there are tons and tons of capos on the market and the big question is, well, which one's right for me? Well, you see, every other capo on the market has a set fretboard radius, a, a curvature to their pad. And what happens is when your curvature doesn't match your guitar, um, you're going to pull it out of tune. So if it's too much curvature, you can push down more on the outside strings and if it's too flat, you're going to push down more on the inside strings. And when strings get pushed too hard, they get pulled out of tune. So, um, a lot of you know that for my videos, I used to use a Thalia capo. And the thing with Thalia capos is they're cool because they have uh, little inserts that you can do with different fretboard radius so it matches your guitar. But the thing is, what if I want to use my capo on more than one guitar? So for example, this is a Taylor. This has a 15 inch uh, fretboard radius. Um, but let's say I want to take that capo and use it on my Gretsch White Falcon, which has a 12 inch fretboard radius. Um, all of a sudden you can't use the same capo. Which is what's really cool about this adaptive radius technology is it works on every single guitar because it matches the radius of your guitar. So let's talk about the rest of the capo. So G7 capos, the performance capos, are known for their tension control system, which means there's no springs in here. There's no actual tension being applied to your strings. It simply locks into where it is at. So you set it to where it needs to be, and it just locks there. Um, that way it's always the perfect amount of tension. So all you do is you put it on, you give it a little squeeze, and it's perfectly set there. So the way this works is you just put it on, give it a little squeeze, it's perfectly in tune. So, a lot of people think, oh, I want the spring loader cable because they're faster. That's not necessarily true. If you give it a quick little pinch right here, give it a shift, pull down, it's perfectly in tune. Perfectly in tune, real fast. Capo change, all the way on to the next song, just like that. So, these things are lightning fast, um, perfectly in tune. This is the new Performance 3 Capo from G7 with Adaptive Radius Technology. Um, disclaimer, this is a sponsored video. I am a G7 sponsored artist, so they send these to me for free. But I want you guys to know that I've tried a lot of capos, a lot of capos over my time, and this is by far the best capo I've ever used in my opinion, whether or not they sponsored me or not. So this is the Performance 3 capo with adaptive radius technology from G7. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below.